Minister, this question is uh, in relation to the trade negotiations that have recently started between the USA and the EU on the opening up of trade agreements. And it's really in relation to the control that we see is taking place, particularly in the seed sector, where three companies now control, I think, the vast majority of seed production in the world. And the potential, it seems that these trade negotiations are opening up the potential for the further industrialization and consolidation of the entire agri-food business and, into, and all business. And I'm just wondering what the view is of the department in relation to that and um, how they see it progressing. Thank you, Deputy Minister. Okay. Um, the objectives of the no negotiations with the United uh, States for a transatlantic trade investment partnership are to eliminate tariffs, to solve existing regulatory uh, barriers and to work to avoid the imposition of regulatory barriers in the future. As regards market access, the U.S. is a key market for Ireland in the agri-food sector. It is the fourth most important country destination for our exports after the uh, United Kingdom, France and Germany. Irish exports of agri-food and beverages to the U.S. were valued at $518 million in 2012, have grown from $406 million in 2010. I don't know, yeah. Sorry. 515 million in 2012 and grown from 406 million in 2010 uh, to 478 million in 2011. That's a rise of 28%. We imported 192 million in agricultural products from the US in 2012, uh, comprising mainly animal feedstuffs at 99 million, food preparation valued at 28 million, live animals valued at 15 million fruit and vegetables at 13 million, and beverages including wine at 11.6 million. In this context, the opening of trade negotiations provides significant opportunities for the agri-food sector to increase its access to the U.S. market. There are also advantages to be gained in terms of possible reduction in tar tariffs on the uh, products we import. The negotiations will also facilitate the elimination of a series of regulatory barriers and, and irritants to tra uh, current trade. These include the system implied by the U.S. from management of import licenses in the dairy sector, the dairy import assessment charges applied by the U.S. to imports of dairy products from the EU. Of course, Ireland has defensive interests also. I will be monitoring the negotiations closely to ensure that, for example, any additional ma market access being granted to the U U.S. does not impact on sectors which are sensitive for Ireland, notably the beef sector. I have to interrupt the Minister there. The rest of the reply will appear in the official report. Deputy Pringle. Thank you, Minister. Um, uh, there's no doubt that the agreement probably will provide some short-term gains in terms of opening up further export opportunities for the Irish agri-food business. But you mentioned there that the, the structures within the negotiations about the remove, dealing with regulatory um, problems and barriers to trade. And part of, part of these negotiations is a secret committee that will actually review and where dispute resolution can take place there outside of the normal procedures within a member state um, in terms of the courts and that as well. And that will lead to the further consolidation of agri-food business and all businesses and will lead to decisions being made in secret that countries won't be able to participate in and won't have any um, role in, in defending either. And I think that's a very worrying situation. And, and when you look at the seed industry, how it's been consolidated in a small number of hands, we could see this expanding into the wider um, agri-food business as well. And I think that's something that the department Thank you, should have a view on in terms Come of... Minister. One minute. I think that the department would monitor an ongoing basis. I mean, it's a priority. Uh, our exports are certainly a priority. We need, uh, we rely so much now on agriculture and the whole development of the food industry, the number of jobs, and you know, as we, we, the economy expands, agriculture and the food industry. Heretofore, we forgot about the food, food industry, but you're right, I accept what, what, what you're saying. We need to monitor it on an ongoing basis, and I certainly will take that message back and as loud and as clear as I possibly can. Thank you.